This episode of Game Grammar is brought to you in part by italki. italki is a website designed to make language learning personal by connecting you to native speakers around the globe. Whether you hire a personal teacher or find a language partner to chat with, you'll find an effective path to fluency in Japanese or another language. It's an affordable, convenient way to develop your skills and learn about life in other countries. Right now, there's a buy one get one promotion on italki credit if you click the link in the video description, so be sure to check it out. Welcome to another episode of Game Grammar Pokemon Leaf Green. Today, we're going to prove that we are the very best, like Green never was. Green. Yosh, Ji-san, zenbu ore ni makase na. It's been some time since we've seen Yosh. It means all right, like Yosh. I am playing Mario and just got Yoshi. Ji-san means grandpa. Zenbu means all or everything. This next part is perhaps the most you will hear this in anime phrase we've come across yet. Ore is the first person pronoun of choice for shonen characters, which gives off a vibe of overconfidence. So that's one anime point right there. Ni tells us that something is being done for or to him, and makaseru means to entrust a task to another person. As makase, it's the stem form being used as a command. So, ore ni makase na translates to entrust it to me or leave it to me in a very gung ho manner. Imagine every preteen male anime character with preposterously spiky hair yelling at it once because they want to be the one to fight with the bad guy. All right, Grandpa, leave everything to me. Yosh, Ji-san, zenbu ore ni makase na. Red, zannen da ga, omae no debaan wa mattake ne ze. Zannen means regret or disappointment. It's used here as too bad, though. Daga means but, so add that to the but list. That first part reads as too bad, Red, but. Omae is Ore's best friend because it means you, but with the same overconfident, uncouth manner. Deban means turn, like in a performance or fight. Omae no deban is paired with wa, so our turn is the subject. Mattaku means truly or completely, and ne is a casual way of saying nai, like is not. So he's saying it really isn't your turn. Of course, we aren't taking turns. So what he really means is that this isn't our chance to shine. After we just beat him in battle too, he wants to beat Red at whatever cost, and this is just the first step he takes to do that. Better read some Sun Tzu, dude. The Zay just adds an air of forcefulness because he wasn't being enough of a jerk already, I guess. Altogether, with Omae no Deban, we'll translate this as "You won't be needed," as Red's turn will never come up. Green's going to do everything to get all the glory to himself. Winning the battle unscathed, being generically heroic. Too bad, Red, but you won't be needed. Red, do, zannen da ga, omae no deban wa mattaku ne ze. So da, uchi no ne chan kara town map o karite iko. We've seen so da several times now, as Okido has been using it quite a lot. It means that's right. When he says ne chan, he's referring to his older sister. Uchi means house, but can also refer to someone from one's social group. So instead of saying big sis, he's saying my big sister, not yours, mine. Teiko is the volitional form of teiku, which is an action that is about to start, and kariru means to borrow. Together as kariteiko, it means I will go borrow, and kara is from. Oh right, I'll borrow a town map from my sister. So da, uchi no ne chan kara. Town map o karite iko. Red ni wa kasanai yo ni ne chan ni itte yoku kara orenchi e kite mo muda da kara na. Add another to Green's jerk pile of jerk stuff. We start off with kasu, which means to lend, and is being conjugated in negative or nai form. Yo ni is a grammar clause that means in order to. It's usually preceded by a verb in dictionary form or nai form, like here, to mean in order for her not to lend it. This speech pattern implies that he's going to ask her not to lend it to you. What a jerk! Teoku means to do verb in advance. The verb in te form we see here is itte, which can be iu to speak or iku to go. But the form makes more sense, so I'll tell her in advance. And apparently he wants a wrench. Oranges? Um, let's pull this word apart. Okay, there we go. Ore no uchi. It's a bit of a stretch, but he means to say my house when he says orenchi. Te form verbs with mo stand for even if you verb, 
and the te form verb here is kuru to come. Muda means useless or futile, and that dakara stands for so or therefore. Putting it all together, since I'm going to tell my sister not to give you one red, it's useless going to my house. Red ni wa kasanai yo ni necha ni itte oku kara, orenchi e kitte mo muda dakara na. Okido no oji chan o shigotto tanondan datte? Taihen ne. Okido no oji chan doesn't mean Okido's grandpa, as you might expect. It just means Grandpa Okido. Rather than indicating possession, the no here just describes Grandpa as being Okido. Tanomu means to ask a favor. In the past tense, you change its mu to nda, and you get tanonda, asked a favor. The favor? O shigoto. Shigoto means job, and when you put an o in front of it, the speaker is treating it with respect. In English, it would be a bit redundant to say, ask a favor job, though. Let's dissect tanondan datte. She's quoting Red with Te. He's a silent protagonist, so we're just assuming he just told her everything. And she asked an exclamatory question with nda as well. So she's quoting him as a question. Taihen means difficult or great. It's a big deal, but it's also going to be hard work. Grandpa Okido asked you for a favor? That's difficult. Okido no ji chan o shigoto tanondan datte? Taihen ne. Hey, bonus challenge. Try saying tanondan datte five times fast. Kore ageru kara tsukatte. Try pausing and translating this line as personal review. Kore means this. Ageru means to give. Kara is because. And tsukatte comes from tsukau to use. Ladies use the te form to tell people what to do. So tsukatte means use it. I'm giving this to you, so use it. Kore ageru kara tsukatte. Red wa nanami kara town map wo moratta. I've seen this phrase before. Sort of. Do you recognize it? Unlike her younger brother, Nanami is a very sweet person, giving Red a town map for free, and he didn't even ask for it. Red also didn't thank her after receiving the map. <sighs> the plight of the silent protagonist and their obligate rudeness. For those who don't remember this phrase, the O marks the town map as the object being moratad, and morata is the past tense for receive, so received. Kara marks who we are receiving it from. Red received the town map from Nanami. Red doa Nanami kara town map wo moratta. Alright, before catching a Pokemon, I think we should check out our options, you know, play the field a bit. So we'll just level up our Hitokage for now. Let's head to road number 22. Ah! We've found an Oni Suzume. This is Spiro's Japanese name. Oni are ogres or demons in Japanese mythology, while Suzume means sparrow. Ogre sparrow, hence why they're such jerks in the show. Watch out! I'm gonna make a pun about Osusume recommendation, which is something you see in shops a lot. I recommend we battle it! <laughs> I'm great. Anyway, uh, we've seen the rest before, so take this sentence to pause and translate if you care to. I'll give you a hint and tell you what it means right now. Oh, wild Onisuzume jumped out. Yasei no Onisuzume no Tsutsuku kogeki. Tsutsuku means to thrust, to strike, to poke, to nudge at, to peck. In this case, it means to peck, because it's a bird. Kyusho ni atatta. Kyusho is tender spot or vitals in English. Ataru means to be hit or to be successful. Even though Hitokage isn't a giant enemy crab, Onisusume hit its weak spot. You might say this was a critical hit. Huh? It's not far off from the literal translation either. Vital spot was hit. Kyusho ni atatta. So, this is the part where we speed it up. We've essentially translated this text already. But you can do it again if you'd like the practice by pausing. I won't stop you. Ah! Yasei no koratta ga tobidashite kita! If we were responsible, we'd heal Hitokage around now. But Hitokage is obviously the best around. No one's ever gonna bring us down. So we don't need to worry about it. We just gotta use our super sweet scratch attack, Hikaku. 
and it's like, we win instantly, basically. It's like, absolutely pathetic. Ah! Yasei no manki ga tobidashite kita. Oh, wild manki jumped out. According to Bulbapedia, its name comes from Cranky and Monkey. Not sure if I buy it, but I don't have a better explanation, so there you are. Yasei no manki no hikkaku kogeki. Hitokage wa taoreta. For those that forgot, um, taoreta is from taoreru, to be defeated, and then past tense, taoreta. I was kind of asking for that, wasn't I? As a result of our overconfidence in Hitokage's admittedly awesome and super powerful scratch attack, he collapsed. It was our own vanity that bested us. However, that manki is very sturdy in comparison to Korata. Reddo no temoto ni wa tatakaeru Pokemon ga inai. Temoto means in hand, and niwa means it's in there. With the possessive no, we're talking about what's in our hand and what's in there. Well, not to be a pessimist, like, I mean, I know we just lost Hitokage, but not to be a pessimist, but the sentence ends in inai, is not, so probably not much. Tatakairu Pokemon. Tatakairu is the potential form of tatakau to fight. Remember, we changed the u to an eru, and it means able to fight. It's modifying the word Pokemon, so the phrase means Pokemon that are able to fight. The Tatakairu Pokemon are the ones that are inai. Put these together, and we get There are no Pokemon able to fight in Red's hand. Red no temoto ni wa tatakairu Pokemon ga inai. Great. Red wa awatete rokujuyon ne nakushite shimatta. Awatete isn't in some sort of double te form, don't worry. Awateru means to become panicked. So this is just normal te form. Usually when we've seen the te form, it's been for continuing actions, but it can also be used to make sequential statements like this. So something happened after red was panicked. Nakusu means to lose something, and with te shimatta, as in past tense te shimau, we completely lost something. As for that something, it says rokuju yonen, which means 64 yen, so... Red became panicked and completely lost 64 yen. Red wa awatete rokuju yonen nakushite shimatta. Red wa me no mae ga makkura ni natta. Me means eye, and mae means in front, so me no mae means in front of one's eyes. Makura means total darkness. The ma is the same as mashiro, pure white, totally dark. I smell a remake coming. Anyway. Naru means to become, and you add a ni to make the adjective more adverby, so it pairs with naru, which is in the past tense, natta. What's in front of Red's eyes became total darkness. Red wa me no mae ga makura ni natta. We might as well be playing Pokemon Black, because we just took a turn for the dark and edgy. Whoa, talk about a grim screen. Red wa. Tsukareru means to tire. Let's break down ugoke naku natta. Ugoku means to move, but ugokeru is the potential can move. Then ugoke nai is cannot move, and then we turn it into an adverb ugoke naku. Once that's done, we add naru to become, which is in its past tense natta form, so it translates to became unable to move. Note, we can't add naru without turning the preceding nai into naku. With tsukarete before it, it is sequential and might indicate cause and effect. Got tired and then became unable to move. Hinshi is on the verge of death, localized as fainted. Can't get too morbid here. Tachi is a suffix that adds plurality to animate objects. A plurality of one hitokage. Because that totally makes sense. The no attaches hinshi to Pokemon tachi to describe it, the Pokemon on the verge of death. Note that ugoke naku natta also modifies Pokemon tachi. Verbs before nouns modify the noun. Kabau is a verb that means to protect someone, which is in the stem form kabai, because nagara after the stem means while doing something. So kabai nagara means while protecting. And the o tells us that we are protecting our Pokemon tachi. Isogu means to hurry up. 
gu verbs change the gu to ide in the te form, so we hurried and then something happened after. Modoru means to return, so we hurried and then returned. No is replacing koto and turns the verb into a noun. Modoru koto is returning. Dearu, seen as the past tense deatta, is a more formal version of this. Dearu is used because omnipresent narrators must be formal, even if they're using casual speech. While protecting the Pokémon on the verge of death that couldn't move because they were tired, Red hurried and returned to the Pokémon Center. Red was tired and couldn't move because they were tired, and he was in the Pokémon Will our Hitokage survive being at the verge of death? Will Red ever find true love? Find out next time. Same Poke Channel? Probably not same Poke Time. Probably not answering the second question either because Red's like 12, come on. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Also, you can follow us on Twitter or Facebook. Financially support us at patreon.com slash gamegrammar, like these generous people have. If you want to study even more, check out our flashcards, or look into becoming a language partner with someone on italki. Until next time, abayo! Tsukutta is the past tense of tsukuru, to make. Zukan means illustrated encyclopedia or illustrated book. Zukan can also be used to refer to field guides, not unlike those of Charles Darwin.